hands-on, pairing via JustWorks. In this hands-on we will try to test JustWorks pairing. When mobile phone initiates the pairing, it will indicate in the pairing feature exchange that it supports both keyboard and the display. So to select JustWorks, the WB needs to indicate that it supports no input and no output. And we can make this configuration straight from the QPAMX and regenerate the project. On GitHub, you will see that as a separate branch from the BLE template project. So let's go back to the QPAMX project and let's make a few adjustments in the VPAN middleware. So first, let's enable pairing and then in the configuration tab we'll configure the IO capabilities to no input, no output. And as you remember, JustWorks provides no protection against man-in-the-middle attack, so the device should not require this protection. For the GUT client to initiate the pairing, the GUT server should make the requirement on the level of individual characteristic. So let's make this configuration in our BLE service, my custom service. We already have one characteristic that can be read. And here we see the permission for this characteristic. What we can do is to set the encrypted read. So the characteristic will require encrypted link before it can be read. We cannot require authenticated link because authenticated link means protection against man in the middle attack and this cannot be achieved with JustWorks. And this is it. We can go back to project manager and regenerate the project. We are back in KubeIDE. If you're interested what changes have been made in the code, we can have a look in the VPAN folder and app underscore ble dot c and on line 666 you see the io capabilities have been set here and the man in the middle protection is configured here so this macro definition have been changed based on the configuration in cupamax so the project is good as it is we can just compile it and flash it to the target. So now again I will open the STBLE toolbox application. I will connect to my device. You see the service and characteristic discovery succeeded as I see all the services and here in the right my custom BLE service with a single characteristic. But now if I try to read it, I get a pairing pop-up by the Android. So if I click pair, the pairing seems to be successful. The link is now encrypted and the characteristic value was read successfully. In the traces uh, you see there is an event generated by the BLE stack and that is pairing complete with a status zero, which means there is no error. And this is the end of the hands-on.